Hey y'all, it's Baby Scorpio here with a collected message for the whole week. So if you resonate with this message, this message is definitely for you, okay? So let's see what the overall energy of this week is. I just feel like this week is just going to be very powerful. Like a lot of us are starting to get our shit together. We're starting to get more abundance in our present moment. Um... And it could be mentally, you're clearing up a lot of stuff, a lot of energy that no longer serves you. Uh, you're stepping into your power. You're taking those little steps that you need to take in order to get to this big goal that you've been wanting to get to. And I just feel like this week is just gonna be like that week where your routine is going good. And it's just because like you're mentally at that level where you need to be. So let's just see, let's just see, you know, what spirit has to say for the overall energy. Okay, spirit, I was about to say spirit putting in too many cards, okay. But the card that wants to come out, I have the card, a new romantic cycle begins and it says new moon in Libra. So right now we're stepping into this energy of where a balance is coming into our relationships with ourselves and others so spirit is saying the more energy you put into yourself the more energy you're going to be able to attract towards you so spirit is saying continue to work on yourself your stability your financial stability your mental stability so that you can actually have a healthy relationship in your present moment okay so let's see how we should go about this week um let's see spirit is also saying like a lot of us need to follow the moon cycles so that we can uh be able to uh heal our emotions and be able to balance our emotions so make sure that you're starting to research how to follow the moon cycles what the moon cycles mean because you know spirit is saying that's going to help you that's not only going to help you um balance yourself it's also going to help you balance and make certain decisions for yourself okay so that's what it is that's what it is <laughs> so how we should go about this week all right so i have the death card spirit is saying be open to change uh, allow yourself to let go of things that are no longer serving you so that you can actually be open to what you truly deserve in the present moment and make sure that you're healing your third eye chakra and your crown chakra so that you can actually see the vision that you have for yourself and hear what spirit has to say when it comes to making these tough decisions in your life okay so spirit is saying um get more comfortable with change and with breaking through these fears of not feeling worthy enough for your next chapter so spirit is saying like just let go of not feeling worthy enough not feeling uh like you deserve to be in your next chapter and actually embody uh being in your present moment so that when your next chapter does come you you already know how to feel worthy of your present moment so that so you just need to embody that energy uh, if that makes sense okay so the issue that needs to be handled spirit is already ready like i have the ace of pentacles spirit is saying like being open to your manifestations like a lot of our manifestations are already in the present moment it's more of like we're not feeling worthy and deserving of of the manifestations that we have so being more open to our soul's plan instead of the plan that our um our physical eyes can see so spirit is saying like there's a lot of us that have these small dreams and spirit is saying like you need to dream bigger in order to receive the manifestation that you deserve in your present moment um yeah so how we can grow this week i have the knight of wands clarified by the six of wands so with the knight of wands spirit is saying take action towards your manifestations make sure that you're taking those risks that you need to take in your present moment heal your sacral chakra energy um so that is like your sexual energy that's the energy that's going to help you heal your fears uh these illusions that are in your present moment 
Um, make sure that you're just taking the actions that you need to take in your present moment so that you can actually overcome your fears in little steps instead of trying to overcome your fears in like this big giant step. So Spirit is saying like, you're gonna find victory at the end of the day with the Six of Wands. It's more of like the steps that you take in your present moment are gonna help you get there. So if you're not taking action, you're not moving forward in your present moment. So the more you take those little steps to get to this uh, big goal that you're trying to get to, the faster that you're gonna get to your end goal. So Spirit is saying, just stay focused on what you need to stay focused on and you will find success in your present moment okay so the more grateful you are in your present moment the more surprises that spirit will bring you in your present moment so um just make sure that you're saying your affirmations you're being grateful for what you have in your present moment um in order to embody that energy and attract that energy uh to you as well some advice for the week let's see some advice for the week okay so i have the seven of cups in the upright so spirit is saying don't get too caught up on illusions in your present moment make sure that you're using discernment to choose which option is best for you and choose the option that is going to be for your soul and when you start to choose options that are for your soul you're automatically gonna get that abundance uh, that you deserve don't be afraid to choose options that are for your highest good instead of choosing the options that are gonna keep you stagnant um, that are gonna keep you in this energy of not feeling worthy enough feeling like you need more and get closer to your higher self so that you can actually hear what you need to do in your present moment and which option that you need to pick in your present moment, okay? Um, a lot of you guys could be like clear audience. So what that means is like you can hear spirits or like you can hear messages in songs and just anything that revolves around hearing. So spirit is saying, pay attention. A lot of y'all is ignoring the signs and spirit is saying like, what y'all doing? like? Come on, <laughs> like stop ignoring the signs. And I'm shuffling again, so Spirit wants to say something else. With the Five of Cups, Spirit is saying, get out of your head. Get out of this energy of feeling like you are left out in the cold because you have the ability to move forward and to get yourself out of that situation. So the more you stay stuck and um, reminisce over the situation instead of trying to find the solution to the situation the more you're gonna be in this energy of the five of cups of feeling like you're left out in the cold you're not worthy of your manifestations uh you're not taking action towards your manifestations because you don't feel uh the motivation because your energy is draining from thinking about the past so spirit is saying get in the present moment okay um balance yourself balance your relationship with yourself um balance the relationships that you have around you so that you can actually feel stable in your present moment okay so that was the message of the whole week and bye y'all